What's up guys, Josh Stover with Mini Bike Apparel here. Getting our new logo stickers made up today. Check it out. All right guys, I'm over here at my light box. Uh, first things first is we're gonna get the screen burnt, uh, meaning that we're gonna take our transparency, we're going to expose our screen so we can wash out the stencil on the screen. All right, let's go ahead and grab our screen. We're gonna get this thing exposed. So we can see I'm grabbing the screen. I'm gonna lay it on top of that light box. And once it's on the light box, we are going to add some foam and some wood and then add weights on top of that. The reason we're doing that is we want to make sure we have a good compression, uh, squeezing the screen against the transparency to make sure we have no light bleed and a sharp, crisp uh, stencil created in the screen. Once that screen is burned, we're going to put it in my DIY washout booth and we're going to go ahead and rinse out that stencil. Once the screen is all dried after the uh, washout, I'm going to mount it on my DIY uh, screen printing machine that I made here with some uh, clamp hinges and a piece of wood. Then we're going to tape the edges of the screen to make sure we don't have any ink bleed on the edges of the screen where there is no emulsion. Grab a piece of our uh, quality outdoor permanent vinyl. Then we're going to need the squeegee itself plus the black ink. This is a black design we are printing. Get that ink laid down on the screen. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and flood up the screen. Basically, flooding is filling the stencil with ink. And then we're going to make a pass on it. I only have one shot at this, so I do need to make sure that we have even, consistent pressure and go smooth across the uh, entire print. Taking a look at it, everything looks to be good on it. Uh, I do cure this once it is cured in my conveyor dryer. We'll load it up into my vinyl cutter. This is a pretty high-end vinyl cutter. It does have sensors to read registration marks in the four corners of this print. Once it is done uh, reading the registration marks, figuring out where it's at on the vinyl, it's going to go ahead and cut out each sticker. Cool little slow motion shot, watching that motorized knife do its deal. Once the vinyl cutter is all done, I'll bring it over to my table and go ahead and start picking out all the stickers out of that sheet of vinyl. And there we have it. All right, guys, I want to say thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the process of making some of my uh, stickers that I have to offer for mini bike apparel. Um, as you can tell, everything is made here in-house. Uh, anything from the stickers, the shirts, to the embroidered hats and beanies, uh, anything that I offer pretty much is made here in-house. Um, so... Uh, I appreciate you guys checking it out. If you guys want to grab, go, grab, go grab your own stuff, go hit up minibikeapparel.com. Uh, everything is available on the website now. Take care, guys. We'll see you later.